Okay, I'll, I'll read this in a second. Basically, there was a mobile game where you control, I guess. And it's basically in that laboratory place. It's mostly like platforming and that kind of thing and some dialogue with some of the uh, um, prof uh, professors, basically. Um, a few days after the case was resolved, I stand before a grey site. Site. The marker is still new and clean. We finally met. I'm sorry it took me so long to come. Some of my memories are those from another machine like me. Unit 024. She and I were in the same production generation. Some of those memories are of a girl. Mitsuru-san and her people aided me in finding that girl and finding out who she is. The first words in her records after her name. Deceased. Mitsuru-san was apologetic when she told me about this, but I wasn't surprised. The girl in my memory had been in a hospital room. That's why, in my heart, I was kind of expecting things to turn out this way. You know, there's a bunch of stuff I wanted to say, and I don't know where to start now. But, thanks so much for giving me life. No words come back to me from the gravestone. I didn't make it in time. I have a younger sister, and I've got companions, and friends too. Because you wished for it. I have a happy life now. But there's nothing I can do to repay you. Mommy, there's someone here. As I'm standing still, a boy approaches me and looks up with me with curiosity. A woman, apparently his mother, follows him and bows to me. She's holding a bouquet of flowers. It seems his family has come to visit this girl's grave. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you, um, this girl's family? Oh no, it's just my boy has the same illness as the girl who's here. I, I look at the boy. He does seem thin, but he otherwise doesn't appear to be in poor health. The girl here agreed to submit to a great many examinations when she was young. Because of that, the doctors learned a great deal about her disease. And it's thanks to her sacrifice that my little boy is still alive today. He can even go to school. She tells me more about her son and then explains that she came to visit the girl's grave to thank her. After they lay the bouquet on the grave, the boy and his mother stand silently for a moment. When they leave, I'm alone in front of the grave once more. She dreamed of being useful to the world, and that wish has come true. I know she would have wanted to see the results of how she helped people, but in the end she never could. Then I've... I've found something I can do. Hey, can I call your mom? I will carry on your dream, my mother, and protect the world where all the lives you saved reside. Just as you wished for my happiness. I will wish for that happiness of all humans and do what I can do to protect them. I'll do it in the best way I can, as a shadow operative. That was that was really nice. Um, there's, there's not too much I can say more than that, unfortunately. Miss Yamagishi, this is a spectacular feat. We've never had a second-year student receive the award for best paper at this school. <laughs> um, thank you. Receive an urgent summons from my lab at a college and find my professor there openly praising me. You're already getting recruitment calls from labs and corporations, but I'd recommend that you devote yourself to studying abroad. Uh, abroad, you say? I just happen to be friends with a professor who's searching for an assistant. If you wish, I can write you a letter of recommendation at once. I hesitate a bit on how to respond to my professor's cheerful words. Ever since I entered the engineering department, things have become awkward with my parents. Though they still look pained when the subject of my not entering medical school comes up, perhaps they'll be impressed with me if I tell them that I'm going to study abroad at a famous college overseas. And even if I were to leave Japan, if something were to happen to Mitsuru-san and the others, I show no hesitation in coming back here. Even if it wasn't for a case involving shadows, for example, if I was told that they didn't have anyone they trusted to perform Argus and Labyrinth's maintenance, I'd still feel the same. 
I have no intention of actually joining the Shadow Operatives, but I want to help them out as much as I can until the organization's foundation becomes more secure. I'm not afraid of moving away from them, but considering what Mitsuru-san is trying to accomplish, there are a lot of things that I can't help with if I'm too far, and... How about it, Miss Yamagishi? I'm sorry, but I'll have to decline for now. If the time comes when I feel a need to study abroad, I'd like to ask for your assistance then. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> then I'll contact them at once and... Wait, you decline? Oh yeah, control your fate. <laughs> oh no, classes are about to start. Please excuse me. Thank you for telling me about this. Miss Yamagishi, wait, hey! I'm not staying here because I'm needed. I'm staying because I choose to do so. That's more important than taking a course that someone else has prepared for me. I can study wherever I want, after all. I join the flow of students moving from class to class and hurry to my next class. Huh. I like that. Um, Ken? Because he's a football player, so... The endless summer weather in Gekohan School Yard is refreshing after school. We're absorbed in chasing the ball like always. Not gonna happen. One of the players I'm guarding against goes flying, and the game stops. Crap, did I get a little too rough? I rush over and see how he's doing. Sorry, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. It wasn't a foul. That was a great tackle, Ken. You've been on fire lately. Oh, <laughs> luckily he doesn't seem hurt. I relax and grab his hand to pull him up with a smile. Well, we do have a match coming up soon. Isn't our opponent supposed to be a strong team? Yeah, you're right. All right, let's all put some more effort into this. Once more, keep our spirits up. Yeah! The summer's almost set. <laughs> the sun is almost set. And it's almost time to end our club activities. I look around the school ground at the students leaving their own clubs. I can tell they're looking at someone standing in the corner of the schoolyard. Oh man, I didn't think she'd come here wearing that ballo outfit of hers. I guess I should have given more thought about where I suggested that we meet up. I regret choosing this place a little, but she'd stand out anyway. I guess it can't be helped. I'm the one who called Mitsuru-san here. This is the first time I've seen her in person since that case ended. I'm well aware of how busy Mitsuru-san is, but I implored her to come here today. I'm starting to feel a little unusually nervous, but I make up my mind and take a few deep breaths before approaching her. Hey, who's that beautiful lady? Don't tell me she's Ken Kun's girlfriend. <laughs> what? No way. I'm so shocked. Doesn't she seem a little serious, though? Mitsuru-san, thank you for coming all this way when you're so busy. Don't worry about it. I am currently on a mission, though, so I don't have a lot of time. I would like to speak with you for longer someday. Oh, it's all right. This won't take long. I called you here so I could give you this today. This. I hand her a small silver badge. It's the official identification given to members of the Shadow Operatives. When she sees it, Mitsuru-san briefly looks surprised. She looks from the badge to my face and swallows whatever she was about to say. I'd like you to take it back for now. I don't need it. I promise, I'll come get it again one day. Very well. I will keep this for you. That's right, I don't need it right now. Mitsuru-san accepts it with another word. But I bet she respects my decision. Mitsuru-san's always thinking about us. I'm sure that all my actions speak louder than anything I could have said to her. And she understands perfectly. This is how it should be. Thank you, Mitsuru-san. Hey Ken! Let's get going! A voice suddenly calls out to me from the school gate and breaks the silence between us. I look in that direction and see the rest of the soccer club who have finished changing and are waiting there for me. It should be obvious that I'm in the middle of a serious conversation here, but that doesn't stop them. Well, I guess it can't be helped then. They want me to hurry up. We just finished practice and we're all hungry kids. It's only natural that their stomachs are growling. I mean, mine is too. 
go. I hope you stay well until I see you again, Mitsuru-san. In any case, since the burdens of my shoulders have been lifted, I quickly bow to Mitsuru-san before rushing off with my soccer club friends. We still have the after-practice wild dash to do. It's a famous tradition of the Gekkan Junior High School Club. Then again, we start this tradition on our own. We consider it one last part of our practice, so I can't allow myself to lose here either. Huh, he left. But wow, don't you think ken -kun's changed a bit lately? Really? Like how? For real? He used to be all, I don't know, cold? But lately, he's been in high spirits. It's like he learned how to be normal, right? You're right. He does seem to act more naturally than before. I like it. Oh my god, those fangirls. Three years ago, we fought to bond through our long and severe battles. That bond is still very important to me. But if I let myself get too caught up in the bond, I'll end up missing out on things in my own life. I think I was able to change because I realised that... I sense that my bond with the others has remained unchanged, but more than that, I sense that I've grown in myself as well, even if only a little. What's best for me right now is to spend my days doing what I can without rushing through life. What happened to me now will surely affect my future. That's what I've come to realise. And acting like that will be my own way of fulfilling the duty that was left to me. Oh, Koromaru-san! Koromaru-san appears from a side street and magnificently runs past us. Koromaru has been showing up like this from time to time and racing us to the burger place. I remember thinking this during the recent battles, but even though Karamaya sounds quite old, he sure doesn't seem that way. I bet he's determined not to let us kids beat him either. Well, if he's challenging me, I can't just let him win without a fight. I pick up the pace and chase after the white furry shape ahead of me. 